A man on a motorized scooter is lucky to be alive after falling more than three stories down an elevator shaft all the way to the basement below. While he survived the initial fall, he was about to be crushed by a descending elevator. Tonight we speak to the quick thinking neighbor whose instinct to hit these two buttons is being credited with saving his life. I heard some metal on metal in the hallway and I thought that was a really strange sound. I couldn't understand, you know, why we would hear that. When the elevator started to move, his girlfriend screamed, you know, stop the elevators, and we stopped them on this floor. So, so the doors opened, and... They both came, and then, so here's what, like, so... I sat here. You stood here and your daughter sat on that here. side? Daughter sat on that side. The two women sat there waiting for emergency crews to arrive. Eventually, Toronto firefighters used ropes and a backboard to pull the injured man to safety. Kristen tells me she quickly realized it was her neighbor, Stuart, who had fallen and was crying out in pain. She says the 45-year-old man used a scooter because he only had one leg, which is now broken. According to Kristen, he lost the other leg in some sort of accident years ago. When we were looking down, we could tell that his leg was broken. Mm -hmm. um, but it was also good that we didn't see anything else. So if anything, I, I felt so I felt so much better that I could see him and he was crying out in pain. You know, it was better than the alternative. It's hard to believe how this could have happened. In a statement to City News, Toronto Community Housing tells us there was obvious signs of damage to the elevator door. We believe the cause of the incident was vandalism. Both of the building's elevators were newly installed in September 2018, and both were in good working order at the time of the incident and had passed all recent safety inspections. My daughter and I went down to the third floor to see how could this have happened. And there was a panel of metal hanging over the open elevator entryway. Mm -hmm. And it was just hanging by a bolt at the top and swinging from the bottom. So very obviously something had happened that allowed him to just go straight through. At last check, Stewart is still being treated in hospital but is expected to be okay. Even first responders are stunned by his survival. To be frank, uh, I'm surprised uh, he didn't get um, killed or uh, more hurt than what he is. Toronto Community Housing and TSSA investigators spent the day trying to determine exactly what happened. I'm also being told Toronto police are investigating.